Hi, once again, this is Monk from Liquid Hearth, and I'm here with Artosis and Darkwing Onyx. Dark Onyx. <laughs> and we're here at Season 6, uh, Day 1 of ESGN Fight Nights. Now, unfortunately, Dan, you lost 1-3 uh, three, three in the first match, and I want to ask you how you felt about that series overall. Uh, you know, I, I felt like I played pretty well. Uh, I, I believe this was the series where I uh, didn't kill the Manatide Totem. That was that was definitely a bit of a mistake. I was having a hard time with that because I knew he would have a, a lightning storm cl storm and clear my board and didn't quite work out. Um, but overall, I felt like I played well. But he got he obviously played very very well, probably perfectly. But uh, I think he got better draws overall as well. Like had the the couple lightning storms and that type of thing. And uh, you know when you have like every single removal card against Murloc like twice, it. I mean, what are you gonna do, man? <laughs> Well, in the one game you did win, I thought you were kind of struggling a bit, and you were a bit behind Druid versus Warrior. He had a ton of cards. You didn't have so many cards, but then you kind of uh, toughed it out, and you drew a key Agent of Lore. You got the initiative back, and you t took the game. Uh, Dark Onyx, I want to ask, um, did you think you were like really way ahead in that particular game? In the Warrior game, I felt I was way ahead at some point uh, before he actually started to draw a lot of cards because I was, he was card starving for a while. And I had more cards and board control. But eventually it just turned out that he drew a lot more than I did. And I didn't try enough my shield blocks, which I needed, because I needed more health. He started going for face a lot. So I just wanted some defensive, like armor smooth for shield block, something that can keep me up. But uh, I didn't get enough of those. So I just eventually fell down. Um, Artosis, in game three, you had a particular play on game nine where used an Ancient of Lore to heal yourself mm -hmm. and also hero powered. Um, I don't know if your team discussed um, the other possible play, which was to Karen and Harvest Golem to put more initiative on the board. Uh, what did you think of that play in particular? Uh, you know, that was actually the play I think I thought most about in that game. And actually when I did it, I was like, uh, I was pretty sure my life total was like dangerously low because uh, like if you had a Wind Fury and like Rockbiter or something like that, I would have died if I hadn't done that. And I just I felt like I needed the life boost and I kind of just needed like a body to be out there and trade with something as well. Uh, and I actually I talked to the team as soon as I got back. That was the first thing because I, I, I lost anyways, but I was very concerned about that play in particular. And uh, they actually told me they agreed with that one. So um, I thought it was OK. It was just, you know, when Shaman gets that many cards on board and they have a fire elemental and all that, it's your life goes away real, real fast. All right, apparently we just got a beer. <laughs> Do you want to open one, Johan? I don't drink beer, actually. So oh, wow. I'll skip this one. All right. Um, in the final game, it was, of course, the Murlocs. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, so I noticed, Johan, you kept a lightning storm in your opening hand. Yeah. Um, how sure were you that it was Murlocs? I was pretty sure it was Murlocs because he played it the day before. And uh, just not keeping a lightning storm in case it would have not be Murloc. Like, if we win handlock, a lightning storm isn't too bad still. But if it's a Murloc and I don't keep the lightning storm, that's just suicidal. So I might as well keep it. So Dark Onyx, this is the this is your first time at Fight Nights. These two seasons we've uh, been at so far, and you are currently undefeated, which is actually the best record at Fight Nights so far. How do you feel about that? And do you think you can maintain that record in the future? I hope so. Time will tell, but uh, I definitely think I actually can keep the records as it is right now. Undefeated sounds pretty good to me. This is, uh, has been a long day, so I'm going to cut the interview a bit short for now. Um, again, shout outs or any finishing remarks you'd like to make? Uh, thanks for the interview. I thought it was a lot of fun. And um, check, make sure you check out iHearthU.com and go team Doggy House. Shout out to my team, Managrant team. And we're currently at halfborn.com. And uh, also shout out to all my fans. All right, thanks for the interview, guys.